A snake so deadly, it can kill a grown man in seconds. Venom that attacks the nerves and paralyzes the brain. All this packed into one small... Oh wait, never mind. That's just a worm snake. Alright guys, come here and check this out. Look at this little guy right here. I just tried to flip this log, and I kind of pulled off the top, unfortunately. So this is like the inside half of the log. But, sitting right on the inside is this adorable little snake. Now, upon first glance, you might not even know it's a snake. I mean, it looks just like a worm. It's glossy, it's black, you have that dirt-colored top and a worm-colored bottom. But this is actually a snake, and I want you to guess the name of this snake. I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Did you guess worm snake? Because you're right. It's literally called an eastern worm snake. It looks like a worm, and not only that, it eats worms. So these are fossorial snakes that spend probably 99% of their lives underground or in logs, just like this one that are partially decayed that they can burrow into. Now you see he's wrapped around my finger like that. Uh, they are very, very teeny. I mean, <laughs> he's like a quarter of the width of my finger but this is actually an adult so they can get a little bit bigger than this but this is a pretty average size for a worm snake believe it or not and i know it's really hard to tell but that right there is actually his head this teeny little nub at the top of his body is his head you can't even like see his eyes or nose or anything now that's because they do spend so much time on the ground so most of their hunting is done by scent not by sight um, so they don't really have much use for eyes, uh, because they are living underground for such a large part of their lives. Uh, but yeah, not only do these look like worms, that's part of the reason they got their name, they also eat worms. So, the primary component of a worm snake's diet is in fact earthworms. Uh, now these are actually interesting because, if you see, at the end of his tail, it's kind of sharp. Now that's actually a, there's a one scale that's shaped kind of like a cone at the end of that tail, and they will actually use that to poke worms. Um, I'm not sure how much damage it does because it's tiny, but they do use that uh, as a defense mechanism. They'll, it might give you a poke with it when you pick them up. It doesn't hurt very bad, but they do use that to get worms. Um, and then they're also a, a rear fang species, so they actually have teeny, teeny little rear fangs. They have super mild venom, it's just for taking out earthworms. Um, and so when they chew on an earthworm, a little bit of that neurotoxic venom will enter the earthworm and help paralyze it. So this is a really neat little species. It's, it's pretty rare to see them. Um, they're not out very frequently. Uh, you, although, during spring, if you're gardening or doing landscaping, you do sometimes dig these up or find these like buried in mulch or something. So if you do see them, you don't have to freak out. Uh, they're completely harmless to humans. As you can see, he, like they can't even bite. Their, their mouths are too small to bite you, so there's no reason to be scared of these little guys. Really neat little snakes. Um, and so while they do prey on earthworms, they'll also prey on other invertebrates, things like mosquito larvae that take shelter under logs, these will eat. So that's one reason they're important, but they're also food for lots of other herps and birds. I mean, they're kind of defenseless little protein snacks for any predator that grabs them. Um, so they're, they're lower to your consumers, um, but they are still important to the ecosystem. They provide food for lots and lots of different animals. But they're such pretty little snakes. We'll get some b-roll shots and then put him right back in his log. Alright guys, let's get this adorable little snake right back under his log. As you see, as soon as we put him back, he's going to dart right under there and just totally disappear. Because he knows that it's safe under there. And he'll spend, like I said, like 99% of his life tucked away under a log where you'll never see him. So that's a really cool species to get on camera. All right, everyone, that's just about it for this episode. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the Eastern Worm Snake. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to my channel for more educational wildlife content coming every Saturday morning. Also, if you wanna see more video clips and photos, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Wild Report. Thanks so much for watching, 
and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Benzino of The Wild Report, signing out. <laughs>